My name is Nisha. I am a customer success lead here at SignEasy. And I'm also joined today by my colleague, Ashra. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining in today. My name is Ashra Paul, and I'm a product manager at SignEasy. I am happy to say that we have been hard at work on further reducing these steps in your electronic signature process and just simplifying it even more through the power of integrations. We want to help you get your documents signed faster and put more time back in your pocket. SignEasy also has an integration with Microsoft Teams. We have integrations with Google Workspace applications, uh, such as Gmail, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Drive, and then of course, Outlook right here. And then last but not least, uh, I want to uh, give a shout out to our latest integration that we released, our most awaited, and it's our integration with Salesforce. I am now going to hand it over to Ashra. Thank you. Thank you so much, Nisha. And thank you for uh, the briefs, uh, the brief setup, right? So as Nisha uh, rightly mentioned uh, about the power of integration, right? About the power, how how basically, you know, um, not just SignEasy as a uh, standalone app, but SignEasy and Outlook integration together can ensure maximum productivity and faster turnaround times. The first image that you see tells you about the signing and sending feature of SignEasy. Uh, so I hope all of you are uh, today using uh, SignEasy and one of the main features, one of the main important aspect of using SignEasy is you, you either want to sign a document or you want to send it for signature, right? So now you can do the same functionality right from your Outlook app. And uh, in my demo, I'm going to demonstrate it to you how you can use it. You can not just sign, you can just send and prepare the entire document. You can quickly add signers. You can um, autofill the signers that already are a part of your uh, signature process in, inside Outlook. You can then follow the same process that you do inside your um, SignEasy app today. Add the required fields, add the different uh, signatures and initials, and then send it to the respective signers. Once you have sent it, we also let you view the document summary. We also let you share the signed document with the respective stakeholders. You can also view the status of your document if it is pending or completed. And if it is pending, you can remind your signers right from the Outlook app, right? So it seems like we have a lot of folks that use a combo of both. You know, they use the client mm -hmm. app and then they also use it on uh, they just use the web application. Right, so right. that's great. Uh, we are yeah. going to demo both today. Yeah, yeah, correct. So let me get started with our Outlook client app. The first step that you need to do is uh, go to your Outlook web or client. I'm going to demonstrate the client and then hand it over to Nisha to showcase the web application, right? So as you can see at the top, you have a you have a CTA here, you have a button here that says get add-ins. You click on get add-ins and it will take you to the Microsoft store. Once you are inside the store, you can search for SignEasy. And you click here and you click on get it. And then you fill in your information. And once you filled in all the information, you will see that SignEasy will come and sit here. So these are the three important actions that we do within uh, Outlook and uh, you will see it right sitting at the top ribbon. So now, uh, if, as you can see, I have opened the email here and the email has two different documents attached to it, right? And the email says that please sign this document and send it by EOD. So let's not delay it and I will show it to you how you can quickly sign these documents, right? For that, I just wanted to show you the different functionalities that we have today inside Outlook. You can sign a document, you can send it for signature, and you can also check the document summary from here. So I'll go ahead with send for signature. And as you can see, I don't need to download any of these documents and then uh, save it somewhere, then import it to SignEasy. I'm cutting down all of these intermediate steps. 
all I need to do is send the documents for signature. And as soon as I open the Outlook app, you can see that both of these documents are pre-populated into the SignEasy uh, Sign application, right? So now if I want to send both of these documents, I should be able to do it. If I want to send just one document, I can just cancel this and then up, uh, send any one of the documents, right? Uh, in addition to that, if you want to add any additional uh, documents which are not part of this uh, email attachment, we will let you do that as well. So you can click on upload file and this will open up your file picker and then you can just choose any of the documents from here and add it, right? So I'll go ahead with whatever we have in the attachment today. I need to add the recipient email ad, uh, name and email address here. So I add the email address, I add add signers. Again, just keeping time in uh, mind, I'll just add single signer, but you can add as many signers as you can. Uh, it's the same workflow, it's the same process that you have been doing within our SignEasy application. If you want to go ahead and add multiple signers, you can do that. Uh, I'll just add one more maybe. And I add it. And then if I want to just, you know, set a signing order, I can do that as well. I can just toggle between the two signers and add a signing order as well. I can add anyone in the CC and I can also add some additional message here. Please get, please sign this documents by Friday. If you want, you can add any other information here right now as soon as i click on add fields you will be taken to our sign easy interface which i'm sure most of you are familiar with today so yeah so uh, as you can as you all might know right that this is how our signing uh, our signing experience or the document viewing experience looks like within sign easy so this you might be familiar with it but i'm just gonna uh, showcase how you can basically click the fields add it here and assign the signers and you also have you can see both the documents that i have selected are uh, uh, are here and i just need to add a few fields here and then once i'm done i can basically hit the send button and once the signature is sent, I will be redirected back to the Outlook app. So you can see that my signature request has been sent successfully. And uh, now I will be redirected back to the Outlook app. -in. Great. So it says, congratulations, you have sent a document for signature. And as I mentioned that you can also remind uh, users to sign this document, right? So if I click on remind, if you see that the users have not signed by Friday UOD that I had mentioned or that you had mentioned within the message, you can send a reminder from your Outlook app and they will receive an email notification and they can sign in right from the email as well, right? And the last thing that I, I wanted to talk about is the complete document summary list. The document summary list will give you the list of pending documents, the completed documents, and the uploaded documents. In the completed documents, we have added a few uh, features here. So what you can do with the document, if you have signed a document yourself, you can quickly share it with your internal stakeholders or your external stakeholders. And uh, you can basically type in the to, from, and it will just auto populate the completed document with a subject, uh, sub, sorry, with a body. And you can choose to edit the body, or you can just go ahead and add the recipient and uh, just send out the completed document, right? And yeah, this is a complete workflow that you can do within Outlook and uh, sent i think nisha must have received it and uh, yeah it is i think done the entire workflow no uploading no downloading you can just finish it within outlook but in case if you want to download we also have the option to download it from here 
you can download single document you can also download multiple document at once so this is the overview so whatever uh, flow that i have done now the signature document that i have sent it out you can find the same document in your dashboard sign easy dashboard as well so you can go to the section waiting for others and you will see that your that my uh, the document that i have sent right now will be sitting right under that section so it is it is syncing like no matter which integration you are using your documents will be synced across all platforms mm -hmm. uh and i want to add on to that uh, i know most of you use web app but if you also use our mobile application uh your documents will sync across there as well just wherever you're able to access your sign easy account uh you can see um everything that you've sent out for signature that's pending on for signature um across all platforms Thanks. many of you indicated that you not only use outlook uh, client app but you also use the web application so if you want to use sign easy's add-in in outlook's web application you need to first install sign easy and this is going to be a one-time setup to install sign easy it's super easy just open up any email that has an attachment and uh, click on the three dots at the top right corner and then uh, just like the uh, Outlook client app where we saw the add-ins option, here you will also see at the bottom the get add-ins option. And just go ahead and click on that and uh, look up Sign Easy in the search bar. Okay. And once you see it, you will see the option to add because I've already added the add-in. It says added here, but all you have to do is click on add and it will get installed to your Outlook inbox. And you can confirm the installation by just going to my add-ins and you will see right here um, all the add-ins that you have. So once you have this set up, you are basically ready to start signing documents and using the sign easy add-in. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, sign a document. Uh, here I have a non-disclosure contract that John sent over to me and he's saying, please sign this and get it back to me by Friday. Friday is tomorrow, so let's go ahead and get on with it. Uh, to sign this document, it is super simple. I am just gonna click on this sign easy icon uh, at the top corner. And it, and then you again, you'll see these three options that we went over earlier. Uh, you can self-sign a document where you're the only signer by choosing the sign document option. You can, uh, if, you, if you're not the signer on this document and you need to collect uh, signatures from other people, such as customers or other employees, then hit the send for signature option and follow the steps that Ashra just did uh, in terms of adding the fields and sending the document out for signature. And then of course you have the option to look at your document summary. So and you can check out your, your completed documents, what's pending, and you can send reminders that way. Uh, for this one, I'm just going to show the self-sign method. So I'm just going to choose sign document. And it's going to detect, hey, you have this document here. Is this the document you want to sign? Yep, I do want to sign this document. So I'm going to go ahead and click sign. And it's going to bring up an interface that many of us are already familiar with. If you're already using sign easy, uh, you are going to be able to see your document that needs your signature right here and then on the left side are going to be your annotations options that you can use to fill and sign your document so i need a name here i'm just going to go ahead and just grab a text box uh, drop it on my document and then put in my name uh, you can also resize this make it smaller larger uh, i need a signature here so i'm going to go ahead and grab a signature Looks like Asha has been using my account, so I'm just going to re replace her signature with my signature. Uh, and there you go. Again, I can resize it, move it around so that it looks nice. I need a date, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the date option and put it here. We also have the option uh, when you're self-signing documents where you're the only signer to add an image. So I know sometimes people need to maybe add a picture of their ID or passport. You can just upload an image and uh, add it to your document. So once this looks good, I am ready to just hit finish at the top right corner. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that.
And similar to what uh, happened when Asha was sending out that document for signature, um, it will redirect you back to your Outlook app. So here it is. I have been redirected back. You know, that new tab that had been opened when I was signing my document has automatically closed. So it's, it's fewer yes. browsers, you know, browser tabs for us. And here at the right side, you will see, congratulations, you've signed your document. And here's a list of your, all of your uh, recently completed documents. So here's that NDA contract that I just signed. And now that I've signed this document, I want to send it back to John. And it's really easy to do that. I'm just gonna click on the share option. And uh, what's gonna happen is uh, it's gonna automatically create um, uh, an email for me uh, with a default uh, messaging that you can edit. And all I have to do is just put in John's email here, CC whoever needs to get a final copy of the signed document and hit send. So, that is how you can use the uh, use the SignEasy add-in in your Outlook web application. That pretty much concludes it for today's webinar. Uh, thank you everyone for attending. Awesome. Thank you Looking everyone. Have a great day.